Okay, friends. Thank you for those who joined the Healthy Habits Yoga Flow that just ended. Um, thank you for also giving me a little bit of grace for starting the mindful eating a little bit late. Grab your pin attendance. There we go. All right, friends. Go ahead and take a moment to grab whatever it is that you're going to eat and I will do the same. Give me one moment. So you can um, follow along with the mindful eating journal that we have on our link tree. Um, just talks about different things, different elements that may affect hunger and fullness, that may affect our ability to recognize hunger and fullness. And we're gonna be talking about that today. We're, we talked about the first week of having non-judgment, right? So the mindful eating space is not a place to judge, right? Good foods versus bad foods. It's just a place to be curious about what's going on in your body. Be curious about your food, right? The smells, the sounds, the taste, um, not a time for judgment. So we eat with non-judgment in this mindful eating space. We don't talk about good foods versus bad foods. Um, we are just here to explore. Um, we talked about last week, we talked a little bit about the elements of mindful eating, right? And, and that awareness that has to be with it. And some of the things that we talked about um, was non-judgment, patience, having a beginner's mind, Right, so approaching things as if you, right, with that curiosity, with, with thinking that, you know, I've never been here or what can I learn from this. We talked about trust, non-striving, right? It's not a goal, it, it's, we're not striving for perfection, we're just striving to show up and know that that's enough. You showing up as you are with all of the things, uh, all the imperfections, knowing that that's enough, right? That is enough. Other elements we talked about are acceptance, letting go, gratitude, and generosity. So I will start, let's start with a few grounding breaths and then we can kind of get into the how. Um, of the mindful eating. So we'll take an inhale to a one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. Four, three, two, 
and one and take a moment to just scan your body notice how you feel how do you feel right now what does your physical body feel like what does your mental body feel like what does your emotional body feel like taking a note of where you're at and welcoming it it's okay exactly where you are and then if you are a person of prayer um, you can take this moment to say a prayer or if you give thanks before you eat feel free to do that I'll give you a moment while I go grab my food If your eyes are soft or closed, feel free to open your eyes. And then thinking about the hungerfulness scale, we're going to go over this in detail today, but just on, on, on a glance, if one is the most hungry I've ever been and 10 is like the most full I've ever been, where do you feel, five is neutral, where do you feel like you're at right now? Where do you feel like you're at? 10 is the most full, one is the most hungry, five is a neutral. Where do you feel like you're at? And then when you have that number in mind, you can write it down in your journal or just take note of that. Um, that number might change, oh, well, it will change as we eat, but that number, the idea of hunger might, might change. Um, which we'll get into in a moment. So let's start eating. Let's start the eating process so you can enjoy right, the food while, while I chat. Um, so again, noticing right, the elements of mindful eating, noticing the colors, the smells. Right, The smell can stimulate the vagus nerve, which could get us into that rest and digest, that parasympathetic nervous system. And it's interesting, if you notice what happens, a lot of the times um, when we do smell our food, our mouth begins to water. And that's our body preparing ourselves um, for digestion. Sometimes we don't realize we're hungry until we actually smell food. Um, and again, that's a sign that our body is getting ready for digestion. So take, notice the different smells. I have got a burrito, so mine smells very savory. And then when you're ready, go ahead and take a bite. Take note of the textures. Take note of the flavors. Do they change as you chew? Are you noticing any flavors that you haven't noticed before in a food that you've eaten before? And then can you notice the sensation as you swallow can you notice the sensation all the way down to your tummy? Or any sounds that you're making with the chews? And when you're ready, go ahead and guide yourself through that process. I'm gonna give you a little bit of silence so you can notice kind of what's going on, the different smells, the flavors, the, the, the sounds. It might be crunchy, it might be 
you know, making like a totally different sound. So what is going on? Can you engage all five senses? And I, I will, I will eat with you and then I will make some note of something. So on your own, guide yourself through the practice. friend. We're just taking a couple mindful bites together. If you're just joining us, we're just taking a few mindful bites together and I'm trying to give a little bit of silence before I go into um, a little bit more of the nuts and bolts of mindful eating. So feel free to grab something and walk yourself through the process of engaging all the senses. The smells, the taste, the sound, the texture. So continue to eat and let's just go over this hunger fullness scale. So again, there is a copy of this on our link tree. Um, if for some reason you're watching this on the YouTube replay, please email us at nutritionservices.gsu.edu um, and we can send it out to you. Um, Let's go through the scale. And so again, one is hungriest I've ever been, 10 is most full I've ever been, and a five is like a neutral. So working our way from a five down to a one, we're talking about hunger. And so a four, is kind of that beginning to feel hungry, kind of like that sneaky four, very easy to, very easy to ignore, but it might be one of those things where you don't realize you're hungry until somebody asks you, are you hungry? And you stop to think about it. It might not be, you realize you're hungry until you smell food, right? It's about, you know, been a few hours since you ate, you, walk in an area where they're cooking something and it smells really good, then all of a sudden you get hungry. Yeah, so that, that can be a four. We call that like, I call it a sneaky four because it's very easy to put off and do like, oh, let me do one more thing, right? Let me do one more thing and then I'll attend to my needs. Let me just do this, let me finish this and then I'll attend to my needs. A three is a little bit harder to ignore. Right, so you might feel like an appetite where you're just like, oh my gosh, I like really need 
X, Y, or Z, right? I'm really craving this. It might be a craving. It might be a grumbling in your tummy where you like feel like stomach pains because you're hungry. Um, a two is kind of where we've shifted our energy and we start getting hangry. <laughs> we start getting irritable. Um, maybe we have large amounts of grumbling. Sometimes people can't even feel hunger in their stomach or their appetite. Sometimes it's just an energy drop um, and they get hangry or irritable or things that things maybe are bothersome that normally aren't bothersome. Brain fog, right? Loss of concentration. You're writing a paper, then all of a sudden you're just like writing the same sentence over and over and over again, or reading a book, reading the same sentence over and over and over again. It might be time to take a pause and fuel your body as opposed to try to push through, right? Because if you fuel your body, you're gonna give yourself some nourishment, right? Some brain food. So you can get through that chapter or get through that paper. A one is where we are so hungry, most hungry I've ever been. Um, people might feel weak and dizzy. Um, it might also be that I'm so hungry that now I'm not hungry anymore and I just need to take a nap, right? Like ever be like, you're so hungry, you came back from a full day and you're just so exhausted, you don't even have the energy to make dinner and you're just like, I'm just tapped out, right? That's maybe a one. And again, this is all subjective. This is just me giving examples or ideas. How it presents in your body could be totally different. So just know that these are ideas and the work is, is to tap into what hunger feels like in your body and how hunger presents when it presents because it may be every couple hours it may be um you know every three hours versus every two it might be every four hours but the point is is absolutely thank you um is that we need to be in tune to what's going on so we can fuel our body so we don't get those shifts in energy and we don't get the hangry or the brain fog, right? To be a successful human being and a successful student, we wanna stay on top of that, right? And it's also part of self-care. We need to take care of ourselves um, so we can do the things that we need to do. Going on to the other side, right? The fullness can be a little bit harder to detect. Um, so again, starting at a five, I'm not hungry, I'm not full, I'm neutral. A six is, you know, pleasantly full, slightly full, um, maybe feeling satisfied. Satisfaction is a different thing, but I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. So fullness and satisfaction are kind of like they, work, they play off of each other. So a seven is going to be slightly uncomfortable. Maybe there was a couple bites left on the plate and you're like, mm, this is not enough to save. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it because I don't wanna throw it away. You can finish it, friends. You can save it for a little snack later. Um, it's okay, you don't have to finish everything. And guess what, if you're you have finished something and you're still hungry, you can go get more. You have that permission, right? If your body is telling you that you need more, go get more. If your body is telling you it's time to stop, it's time to stop. Um, an eight is feeling stuffed, right? I feel like that is the word we typically use around holidays or around like Thanksgiving typically is um, a word that, that, that is common, right? I'm stuffed. Um, a nine is feeling very uncomfortable, um, maybe feeling the clothes are a little tight or maybe feeling like well, I need to like sit back or lie down. Um, a 10 is feeling physically ill. So whether that means I have nausea or heartburn or a migraine, um, a 10 is going to feel physically ill. So like most full I've ever been. Um, it's gonna be feel pretty uncomfortable. And so 
The interesting thing is we can feel full, but not satisfied, right? We can feel satisfied and not full. What we can't do is feel hungry and satisfied, right? That satisfaction from food comes with eating. And there's an example that, you know, you can eat lettuce. You can eat lettuce all day and one you can eat a whole pound of lettuce and you will feel fullness in your stomach right you will feel full but will you feel satisfied some people might say yes because they love lettuce a lot of people might not right because we need to add things to that for that satisfaction right if you like crunch you might need to add nuts if you um like protein, if you feel better with protein, you might feel like you need to add maybe some sort of protein source to it. If you feel better with fiber, you might add some fruit to it. So it's really kind of dependent on what makes you feel satisfied. You need something sweet, right? Like candied walnuts. Um, so it's one of those things where it's not only like what is going to make me full, but also what is going to make me satisfied. How am I gonna feel satisfied? And this is when we can actually listen to what we're craving and add a little bit to whatever it is that we're eating. So we're not like having these like forbidden foods and we're like, oh my gosh, I can never eat chocolate. Guess what? I'm always gonna be thinking about chocolate if that's like a forbidden food. So allowing yourself, right? Permission to maybe have like a couple of squares with your lunch if you don't feel like lunch is complete until you have those couple of squares and knowing that that's okay. It's okay. And so as you explore, right, this is, this is kind of our last session of mindful eating, but as you explore, right, I encourage you to get the journal from our link tree, to get the scale, right, and to think about where are you during the day what does your hunger feel like? How does it present in your body? What does fullness feel like? And when do you feel like you're satisfied? Because again, with emotional eating, sometimes we are looking for satisfaction in food and sometimes that works, um, but sometimes we're needing something else. We're needing something else. So it's really good to tap into um, what it is that you're needing to feel satisfied right because sometimes we eat and eat and eat until we feel that satisfaction and if that satisfaction doesn't come you know we're gonna feel kind of unfulfilled um, so really tapping into what are you craving what's gonna make you feel satisfied what's gonna fuel your body how does fullness present how does satisfaction present um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely a difference between satisfaction and feeling full. Yeah. So uh, interesting one to think about. Um, and just notice after you eat, am I satisfied? And where am I at on the fullness scale? And if I'm not satisfied, what's going to make me feel totally satisfied and complete? Um, it might be something else. It might be another something, right? Whether that's, you know, protein, fiber, chocolate, coffee, like whatever it is. It might be a food or drink item. It might be more of an emotional item. It might be a physical item. Maybe you just need a walk. Maybe you need to talk to a friend. Um, so I, I encourage you to explore that. So friends, we are about at the end of our time and I wanna be respectful of your time. I'm going to repost this on Instagram. Um, we will, this is our last mindful eating of February. Um, we don't have any plans for doing this again this semester. However, that might change. <laughs> I will definitely, I will definitely let everybody know in pin. And if you follow us on Instagram, I'll make sure to post it up there. Um, 
feel free to DM us with any questions regarding mindful eating. Feel free to reach out to nutrition services at gsu.edu if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with a registered dietitian and kind of explore some of these um, thought patterns, relationships with food, and maybe exploring like what what does fueling my body look like versus what fueling you know somebody else is telling you it should look like. So you have those resources. You also have the Counseling Center as a resource too if you want to explore a little bit more deeper into things that, that you feel like you may um, want to dive deeper into beyond relationship with food, maybe beyond that food satisfaction. Maybe there's another layer that needs to be explored. Absolutely. Thank you for joining, friends. Um, let's end our practice with five breaths i'll guide you through we'll inhale and exhale through the nose we'll inhale one two three four exhale through the nose four three two one inhale through the nose one two three four exhale through the nose four three two, one. Again, inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. Four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. Four, three, two, one one last time inhale one two three four exhale through the nose four three two one thank you so much for joining me today thank you for your time um <clears throat> i hope everyone has an amazing rest of the day rest of the week and rest of the semester we'll see you next time